Hi everyone, so this is just a really quick example of how to encrypt your uh, computer if you're using a Macintosh. Um, if you're using an Apple computer, uh, it comes with encryption software already installed. All you have to do is turn it on. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go to the Apple menu in the top left of my home screen. And um, under System Preferences, I'm going to choose Security. And uh, it will probably default to general for you, but you'll see File Vault is an option here. File Vault is the name of the encryption uh, software provided by Apple. Um, I already have encryption set up on uh, other user accounts that I have on this computer, so I have a few different user accounts. And you can have some encrypted and some unencrypted. Um, so uh, the first thing you're going to need to do uh, if you've never done this before is to set a master password. Your master password is basically a backup password in case you should forget your regular password for any reason. Um, this will let you uh, decrypt, um, it will let you get your data back basically. Um, you know, if you lost both passwords, you wouldn't be able to get your data off the, uh, off the computer anymore. Um, but for the master password, it's, it, or passphrase, you know, try to make it something long. Um, for that, um, it's perfectly okay to go ahead and write that down um, on a piece of paper, um, keep it somewhere safe in your house. Um, and uh, because you won't need that except in case of an emergency, um, right? So for the most part, as it says here, your files are going to be encrypted using your login password. So you don't even have to change your password in order to do this. Um, and literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to click Turn on File Vault. It's going to ask me for an administrator password. Um, so if... Um, uh, if the user, that, if the account that you want to encrypt is not already an administrator, you'll have to uh, uh, provide administrator details and then it asks you for the um, password for this account. Okay, and so that's all there is to it. So the question is, um, the, the last option you have to choose is use secure erase. And you want to select this because what happens here is basically the computer is going to make a copy of all your data and encrypt it and save the encrypted version. But you want to make sure this use secure erase option basically says, by the way, once it's encrypted, I want you to delete the unencrypted version, right? And that's important because if you leave an unencrypted copy of your data on your computer, um, then that's going to, uh, you know, that then that will be accessible to someone if someone should get a hold of your machine. Um, so. The, this is where we're going to end this. The last step would be to click this button. Um, however, it's going to uh, essentially uh, log out the computer while it does its work. Um, but basically, but it, actually that's all you have to do. So once you click Turn on File Vault, you want to make sure you do this with your computer plugged in. Um, you don't want to run out of battery in the middle. Um, uh, but it will do its work and that's it. And then you'll just log in again as usual. And in fact, you'll see uh, there's almost no difference. Um, there's not really a longer startup time or anything, maybe a couple of seconds longer, but not anything that most of us will notice. Um, so that's that. Uh, I hope uh, you all are able to follow along and please feel free to respond with any questions. Thanks.